Assalamu alaikum y'all, this is Kutuz here. Now, have you ever considered that the weather you are experiencing currently is rather unnatural and that it's actually depending on the perky desire of a few individuals? A group of men, or people per se, that have control over the natural disasters. I mean thunder, tsunami, earthquakes, you name it. They can literally control your day, whether it's a rainy day or a sunshine day. Beautiful day, isn't it? So, I'm not actually talking about Zeus in here. I'm not talking about Poseidon. Uh, rather, there is no um, mention of Greek mythology. However, I'm talking about a device that the US Air Force have full control over it. Now let's go back with time a little bit. Alaska, an authority below the government of the United States of America, uh, has built a research center. Now that research center was almost a couple of acres in its size. They called it H-A-A-R-P. Now what does it stand for? It stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. So, time-wise speaking, that actually dates back as old as almost three decades right now. So, currently, how does it work? Technically speaking, HAARP equipment uses what you may call an IRI aka Ionospheric Research Instrument. Now what does IRI aka Ionospheric uh, Research Instrument actually do? What it actually does, as simple as it is, is that it transmitting high frequency radio waves onto the ionosphere. The ionosphere is the layer of atmosphere that actually controls weather. Hmm. That is very suspicious if you ask me. Now, it gets a bit confusing from here on. Of why don't they keep the project a secret? I mean, why would they actually let the public know about it? Why would it be known to the public, eh? Well, and as you can see, um, as it turns out, it's very out there. As you can see here, uh, that it's mentioning that what gives the funds to is none other than the U U.S. military air force and the navy, the U.S. navy, of course. Now, does that mean that the HAARP isn't hiding its existence or anything that would the public care to acknowledge? Matter of fact, yeah, <laughs> because according to the LifeScience.com, the U.S. Air Force notified Congress that it intends to put down the project HAARP, a controversial Alaska-based research facility that studies an energetic and active region of the upper atmosphere, what shouldn't be actually a military technology, now we are gonna talk about it. So, as we mentioned, from what we understood, there is nothing that is clear about the matter. I mean, they're putting it out there, but yet there is something that is not settled yet. So, really, it doesn't sound like a global research, per se, at least for me. So, one of the most critical Canadian-based media, along with compiled sources of media that you might be familiar with, such as the CBC and the History Channel, etc., etc., they discussed and reported in regards to that matter, in regards to that conspiracy theory, saying, this, listen carefully. Now, they said that the U.S. 
has been involved in OWTHER for military use. Quite a claim from some big names in media to claim that the US Air Force is actually controlling the weather for military purposes. It all came together, it all adds up. It began to make more sense. Now logically, why would an ionosphere uh, research center be related to military technology? You see, established in 1958 by President Eisenhower, the DARPA, DARPA, had a track record within non military fields as well um, computers, internet networks, and all sort of those stuff. Now, that's it for this part. Part one, we're gonna do a part two because it might be a bit of a heavy video, a lot of information. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry for not uploading for the past week. Um, just had a small problem with the internet connection at home so um, thank you very much very much appreciate it like the video share it with your friends comment down below what you think about the conspiracy theory and whether you actually believe in it or not and thank you very much skutus salam bye